So here we have the engines for our XSV20 Thunderchild 2. 2,600 horsepower in total. Caterpillar had the best power to weight ratio in this class. This will be a quad engine of propulsion arrangement using four surface drives. We carefully considered the optimum solution for her and determined, at least in this instance, that a quad arrangement provided slightly better efficiency than a twin engine solution. We also saved a significant amount of weight, approximately 1500 kilograms, by using four smaller capacity engines instead of two larger, more powerful but heavier engines. The surface drives are manufactured by France Helices and I must say they are superbly engineered, almost like little engineering works of art. Like all propulsion systems, they have their pros and cons, but for our application demanding both high speeds of 50 knots and economy, especially in rough seas at transitional speeds, they were the best choice. Other factors also came into play, factors that were unique to this boat and her transatlantic capability, such as redundancy. If we lose one engine, we should still be able to plane and keep going, albeit at a reduced cruising speed, which wouldn't be the case with a twin engine setup. Also with the quad arrangement, we should have the option of running on just two engines by lifting the inner drives. This will be very beneficial in rough seas when high speed just isn't an option. And by operating the less deeply submerged outer drives and using the lower gear ratio of the twin speed ZF gearboxes, we can greatly unload the propellers. As such, her rough weather maneuverability and operation should be pretty good. Surface drives are designed to run with only the lower half of the propeller submerged, and as such there is very low appendage drag. The drives are articulated, able to be raised or lowered to both trim the hull and adjust the prop's submergence, as well as steer with vector thrust.